pray. What my life? Oh, <laughs> hey. Um, hold on a second. Uh, take two. <laughs> How are we doing, folks? How are you? Of course, I am not a video diva. That was all part of the video. So if you did see me, uh, if you did, uh, let me just stop this here. So if you did um, hear me complain about the two bowls of M and M's, don't worry. That's not me. I'm no diva. So welcome along to this live where we're going to talk about how to create videos without being on camera. Now, this is a two part webinar um, because I'm going to show you how to do two different things. Uh, one is I'm going to show you how to create a video without being on camera. And then next week I'm going to, well, next week you're going to have to tune in to actually uh, see what I'm going to be talking about. So it's going to be about webinars. Hello, successful children. Um, do let me know if you are here. Do say hello if you're on the live. And uh, yes, we are live. And here's something that I bought that I really liked. I got it for, as a Christmas present. Uh, my little uh, clapper board here, which sometimes features in my videos, but it's a nice little accessory that I have. So can I ask you first, how do you think we're going to create videos without being on videos? Uh, without being on video. I mean, what are we going to do? Are we going to use a special tool, do you think? Are we going to use, um, I don't know, are we going to outsource it? What are we going to do? Let me, let me know your thoughts about this because, you know, I want to know what you think as well. I want to know what you, how you think this um, whole video idea might work. Okay. Oh, with voiceovers and B-roll. Oh, well, here's somebody who knows a little bit about um, creating videos. Okay. So let's talk about um, what B-roll is. Well, we'll talk about that next week. No, B-roll is basically um, just like uh, little shots of maybe the outside uh, in a park or of a, just of a clapperboard here or of me walking down the road. Okay, that's just B-roll. It's something extra that we give to um, enhance our video. But no, we're not going to go that complex because that is super complex. Hey, Savita, how are you? Um, we are going to do a voiceover. I mean, we're going to create a video with our own voices. Now, this leads to the very first question that a lot of people ask, and that is, do I have to use my own voice when I'm on a video? And yes, you do. I mean, I've had people say to me, well, look, I'm going to create a video with one of these AI tools, which will actually read my script for me. And that's cool. And I say, well, uh, I don't know if it is cool because imagine you watch 15 videos about me uh, I, that I produce and I'm not on screen, and you have this image of the guy is um, Australian sounding, and then we get to talk, and then have a completely different accent. Do you think that um, builds up trust? Do you think that builds up authority? Do you think that builds up um, credibility for your audience? Well, the answer is no, because if I hear or suspect that somebody has used an AI voice tool, an artificial intelligence um, voice tool. Yes, yeah, so if says, and I'm going to put that on screen because it's true, uh, fake alert. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're not prepared to at least use your voice on screen, I would be a little bit worried. I would think that people are being inauthentic as successful children says. So the first thing that you have to do is use your own voice. And that means no AI tools. Um, that means no um, hiring somebody from uh, Fiverr to do voiceovers. I mean, I have got voiceovers done for an intro to my podcast, for example. I, I originally used a, a voiceover artist just for that. But I'm not going to get somebody to record my podcasts or use an AI tool to record the podcast because then when you see me, then when we talk, it's kind of like, well, who is this guy? Because I thought you were Australian. 
Oh, and I forgot to ask you. Uh, you can hear and see me okay. Yes, uh, I presume you can. <laughs> um, so this is the first thing that you have to think about. You have to say to yourself, okay, if I am using, or if I want to get on video, I need to be myself, okay? And I mean, video is, and, and has been for the last couple of years, something that is essential. Um, it's an interesting medium for people to actually um, connect with you because it's more than just pictures, it's more than just text. But one question is, how long should your video be? I mean, if you are going to create a video, even if it's just uh, with music and imagery, or if it's with you and a voiceover, um, how long should a video be, do you think, and why? So I'm going to ask you that question. I'm going to give you just a couple of seconds to uh, think about that. And then I'm going to answer the question of how long the video should be. Well, the video should be as long as it needs to be without it being too long. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, Vito says short video is best. Okay. True. Um, and successful children says as long as it needs to be no fluff. Okay. I think she's paraphrasing me, but that's, uh, that's okay. You can paraphrase me. And I mean, think about this. If you have a 30 minute video and somebody watches 10% of that, that's three minutes. If you have a three minute video and somebody watches the whole three minutes, that means that your viewers engage and stay watching the video for 100% of the time. So those metrics are noticed by, if it's YouTube, if by, by LinkedIn, by Facebook, etc., And they see, oh, this video has engaged the viewer. And then there is a possibility that they will actually then go and um, promote that video or that they will show it to more people. I mean, if I'm on Facebook, if I'm on LinkedIn, and I see a video, unless it's something that I'm really interested in, um, I'm not going to spend 30 minutes watching the video when you could have said it to me in three minutes. I think we live in an era of short attention spans. Now, I know these lives are one hour long, so you might be saying, but hey, Richard, why is this live not three minutes long? Because I'm going to train you on a lot of things. But the idea is that people want short, snappy videos. Okay, I put up a video today on LinkedIn and somebody actually commented. And I, I mean, somebody actually commented. I'm not saying, wow, somebody actually commented. I mean, somebody commented on the video saying, you know, that was really short. It was really succinct. It was to the point. Now, Savita says, and it's, a, and it's an interesting point, and it brings up uh, something I wanted to talk about. Um, I start to ramble. I mean, she starts to ramble and short works best for her. Um. One of the things that you can do to counteract rambling is to have a script or know what you're going to talk about. Now, we often say in the training business, we say, you know, if you're giving a presentation, you tell people what you're going to talk about, you talk about what you're going to talk about, and then you summarize what you've just talked about. Okay, so that's, that's you know, a, a basic, hey, today I'm going to talk about how to create videos without being on video. So let's get straight into this. Uh, a lot of people are terrified of being on video. So what if I told you that you could actually be um, just, you could just use your voice and not have to put your face on the video. Let's go and see how this works. So it's short, sweet, and snappy. Um, and the next big question is, well, you know, what do I talk about? Okay. Um, I mean, where do I get my ideas? So the first thing that you could do is you could create a simple PowerPoint with points from an article and you could actually just use that. But I mean, why would you do that when we have the resources for you? Of course we have resources for you. So what you could do is you could do the following. Now, let me just uh, rearrange my screens here so that you can see it. 
So you could go into this um, really great site that I know, which is called PLR.me. You may have heard of it. And when you are in there, what you can do is you can type in a keyword and you can decide that you just want to search for coaching workshops and slide decks. So um, I'm just gonna type in questions here. Okay. And I go down here and I find a 10 questions that can change your life. Now that, that looks pretty good. So I go in here and as always, you will see that we have the overview of this particular video or of this particular slide deck. Now I've let the cat out of the bag. We're going to use this. This is 52 slides. So I think maybe 52 slides is quite a lot. So what about breaking this into a series of videos? Now, once you download this uh, particular slide deck, don't worry if you don't have PowerPoint, because what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to record this using Google Slides. OK, so you don't need any extra equipment. Now, you might be saying, but hold on, Richard, hold on, Richard. What about what do I use to record the actual video? I'm going to show you a free tool that you can use. And we're going to talk about microphones and all of that. OK, so who's ready? Who's 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 ready to really see how this works? Um, by the way, ha, yeah, you you over there. Have you liked this video or have you subscribed to our channel? Because I'm not sure if you have. So please do give it a little like. And let me know when you've actually given it a like and share the video. Thanks. OK, you can you can relax. I'm not going to ask you any more questions. OK, so you're off the hook. Um, so what I would do is and, and what I have done is I would go into Google slide decks. I mean, I can just go into um, Google Drive and I can click on import a slide deck. OK, and I import the slide deck. I mean, it, it's very simple to do. I'm not going to go through all of the mechanics of doing that. But once you've imported the slide deck, you have it here. So the first thing I would do is I would have a look down through this actual slide deck. Okay, you can learn a lot just by asking yourself a few questions. Now, I would add in maybe if I wanted, I would add, to, add in some speaker notes or you can actually just speak what you see on screen. But you might want to have some notes. Now, since you are not on video, you can actually have your notes on a piece of paper. OK, so there's no problems. So I would have a look at this. Questions direct your attention and make you think. Uh, you never ask yourself. Consider these answers on a regular basis. OK, so this is a series of uh, 10 questions. So what I might do is I might break this up and say, today I'm going to record up to slide, up to slide 33. And I'm going to say in this video, it's a two part video. I'm going to give you um, the first five questions that you need to be asking yourself in order to change your life. OK, because you don't want that people think, oh, my God, this is a webinar. This is a lecture. I'm going to be here for five hours listening to all of this. OK, so that does that make sense so far? that you take a slide deck, um, you decide on what you want your topic to be, and then you upload it to Google Docs. OK, yes, yes, yes. OK. Um, OK, so uh, do, do chime in. Anybody else who wants to chime in, do chime in. Now, if you wanted, I mean, you could delete these images. You could change the text here. but I mean, if you're putting it on LinkedIn, if you're putting it on Facebook, if you put it on Instagram, you probably don't need to do that. You can probably just use it as it is. Now, the next thing is recording. Okay, if you could see my my little studio that I have here. I mean, I've I have two bright lights. You might see them in my eyes there. Um, I have another light here. Um, I have like you know a nice little microphone that's on a, a little boom arm here, which I just hide out of sight. Um, but you don't need any of that. I have programs that will record my screen, but you don't need any of that because all you need is something called Loom. 
Okay, so if you go to loom.com, okay, you can actually download this for free. Okay, remember, I am Mr. Free. If you go into pricing here, you'll see that you get the starter kit or you start a free trial um, when you when you first sign up. You can have up to um, five minutes, up to 25 videos, and they are five minutes in duration. So this is an excellent starting point. Why? Because all you want to do is record a five minute video. I mean, start small, start easy, make it easy for people to consume your content. So you go into Loom, and then what you want to do is you then want to go to Loom and download the actual desktop app of Loom. And you will then have a little icon up here, which will allow you to start to record. Okay, so you can choose your recording settings. And I'll talk about that just in a second. Okay, everybody with me so far? People enjoying themselves, people super excited, people like, you know, just are like just shutting out the world because they say, this is all I wanna focus on because this guy is amazing. Uh, that guy I'm talking about is me. Um, and Savita and Successful Children, I know you're going to say yes for sure, but I know there are more people watching. So <laughs> do let me know. Okay, so first step, um, download a slide deck. Second step, upload it to Google um, Slides. If you have PowerPoint, we'll talk about that in a second and I'll show you something that you can do there. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you go into Loom, and I say that all I want to record is screen only. And then I select an app. And if I wanted a custom size, I mean, this is handy about the paid version that I could cut a custom size here. I would have to do that with the, with the uh, full version. But I can say window. It asks me to select the app. Okay. And I can say this window here. Now I'm going to do something and I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay. Because this is live TV. So I would select this window here. Now, then what I would do is to have it on full screen. I would go in and I would decide to actually run a slideshow. So I'm going to do this and we're going to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to, we're going to do this live. So do not go away if I suddenly disappear. So I go start recording. I put slideshow. This will fill up the whole screen. Okay, and welcome along. In this short video, I want to talk about 10 questions that can change your life. Now, you can learn a lot about yourself just by asking yourself a few very simple questions. Questions you see direct your attention and make you think a little bit. And if up to this point in your life, you've never asked yourself questions, you may actually be limiting the amount of progress that you make in your life. But the questions you ask yourself or fail to ask yourself can alter the course of your life. Now, I want you to listen carefully and consider the answers to these questions on a regular basis. Number one, what are the most important things I need to accomplish tomorrow? Okay, so, you should, uh, if you are still there, let me just go back to my screens. Okay, so you should see that um, that wasn't too difficult. You will see that I ad-libbed a little bit, okay? Meaning that um, I just, I spoke a little bit more than what was on screen. Now, anybody find that difficult? Anybody think, oh my God, there is no way I can actually do that. Or do you find that that's quite simple? Now, here what we have is we have our video. Okay. Okay, this is epic. We can use it right now. Well, don't, don't use it right now, Savita, because, you know, I want you to stay here with me, okay, for a little bit longer. Now, what I can do here is if I press play and what will I in this short video, I want to talk about 10 questions that can change your life. Now, I'm not sure whether you were able to hear my narration there, but that's the way I do it. Now, you might be thinking, and it is a very valid point. Yes, you over there, I know that you're thinking that. Um, you may be thinking, 
yeah, but I don't want to have it on Loom. I mean, I want to be able to upload that to YouTube. So look, you go here. There's a little button there, which is to download that as an MP4 video format. And then if I just go in and I say open, that will open up on screen here. Okay. And I have my video. And I go through it. And that is my video made. Now, if you practice this a couple of times, it will become really, really easy for you to do. Now, what I might actually decide to do is I might do something. Um, I might do something like maybe I just post one question a day over 10 days. Where do I post it? Excellent question. I could post on Facebook. I could say, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, um, post on my Facebook group of here's one question a day that I want you to ask yourself to be able to change your life. I might decide to um, say, well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to post this on um, my website and then I'm going to send it out to my email list every single day. Hey, um, John, I've got a real special for you um, on my email. It is um, one question a day to help you change your life. Just click on the link below to find out more. And then you could have that video on your website. And maybe below the video, there's a call to action of, um, you know, set up a free discovery call with me. So what else uh, could you do? Well, actually, I mean, you just read my mind, Savita. So Savita has said here, you could use these as journal prompts. Now, there's an interesting idea, okay? You send this out to your to your list. You post on Facebook and say, guys, I want you to take out your journal. And maybe, they, uh, maybe you have a journal that they can download or a page that they can download. And you say, what I want you to do now is I want you to, uh, let me just go back to full screen here. I want you to watch the video and write a journal prompt about that particular video and the question and how it can change your life. Okay. Or you may say, guys, um, you know, here's the video. And if you would like to purchase my journal, this just comes from successful children, says uh, a lead magnet or relevant checklist. I mean, you could actually maybe have what they need to purchase as the actual, uh, the journal itself. Okay, so you might be saying, okay, you need to expand on this, or if you wish to expand on this, you know, uh, why not purchase my prompted journal, which has over 100 questions to ask yourself. Or maybe you do this on the 10th day, so they see the power of questions, they see the power that this can provide, and they say, okay, yeah, now I see how this can actually really help me. Okay. Any questions so far? I'm just going to fill my fill my glass with a little bit of water. Uh, so, Peter, glad I changed the time I work out to be live today. Okay, thanks, Richard. Well, I'm glad you changed it as well. Um, Successful Children says, you know, you could use it as an ebook launch. Well, you could. I mean, you could, you know, maybe not on the first question, but on the second or third question or second or third video, you could say, you know, if you have found these questions useful, download my new ebook called, it doesn't even have to be a journal, 15 prompts uh, to help you live a more successful life or 25 prompts to help you or call it a 30 day um, prompt journal. Okay. And it can be something as simple as that. Okay, keep the ideas coming. Anybody else have other ideas that we could actually do? And I know you must be thinking of ideas that um, you could actually do with this video. Now, I would suggest, and here is my suggestion, that what you do is you start with short videos, even if it's only one minute long, 
Okay. You practice first. You know what you're going to say. Um, because otherwise what can happen is that if people will, I mean, if you have to record five questions all in one go, um, if you make a mistake, you go, how do I edit this video? I'll have to start again. And then you make a mistake on the fourth question. And then you go back and you make a mistake on the second question. So just maybe record one question and that's it. Okay. So in today's video, I have one short question, which may lead to a long answer, but that's up to you. So you see, questions are so important. And my question for today is, okay, and then you can add to it. And maybe you could, yeah, um, you could do a daily midday motivation. Um, you know, one of the things I think is really important is once you create one of these videos, oops, sorry. Once you create one of these videos, reuse it maybe every 60, 90 days because as you grow your fan base and your followers, people that started in five days time won't have seen the five videos that you, you put out. So always think about having a schedule where you recycle your content. Okay, you take your content and you say, okay, this is the content uh, of the five day video series, I'm going to repost that every 30 days. Some people will see it again, some people won't, but I do that a lot with my LinkedIn posts, with my Facebook posts, I recycle, I repurpose. It's good for the environment as well, um, supposedly. <laughs> so think about doing something like that to recycle and then to actually just say, okay, I'm going to do it again and again. Now, let's let's see what else uh, we can do with Loom there. So if I just reshare my screen, uh, if I find where my screen is, where has my screen gone? Okay, so let me just go back here to the live. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reshare my screen. Okay, so Chrome tab. Actually, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to reshare this one, uh, this one here, which is the Loom screen there. Now, when you go into Loom, um, what you can do is if you go back to, if I go to my personal here, and I go into my personal library, where are you, personal library? Oh, okay, it's just signed me out there. So I have to sign back in. I think I can just do it from here. Uh, I just go into, where are we? Okay, sign into Loom. So let me just sign in here. Let me just move this across here because I don't want you to see my password, I'm sorry. Um, and what I can do once I've logged into Loom again, I should be able to see all of my videos here. Okay, so this is these are the two videos that I recorded. Uh, this was a practice one that I practiced on. This is one about limiting beliefs that I had. This is another one that I did just of um, a photo album. But I think five minutes is perfect for you to start off. I mean, I, I get it. I understand that you may be a little bit shy when you um, decide to record video. I mean, we talked about podcasting. We talked about getting yourself... Um, used to using your voice. So this is the next step. Okay. This is the next um, phase. Now, a very good question that I just thought about was, well, what happens if I don't have a fancy pants mic like you do, Richard? Well, as long as you have something, I mean, I also have my headset here, which I could use. Um, I have my, my AirPods that I could use. I have my connected earphones that I could use. So you don't need anything fancy for this. You don't need anything that is, um, well, you don't need anything because remember, you're not going to be on camera. So you can be anywhere you want. You can be sitting on your sofa and recording this. You know, just make sure if you're using, you know, um, wireless headphones or if you're using wired headphones, that the microphone is not rubbing against your clothes because then that can be a little bit distracting. But the key thing is to practice, okay? To take your time and to practice one or two times 
and listen to the recording. Make sure the sound is, is relatively okay. And then that's it. Um, so let me just take a couple of questions and please put in the questions. Um, Alana says, if you don't have a Facebook uh, group, would it be okay to do a five-day question on your business page? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you could you could also try and do it on your personal page, but maybe not the most recommended, but you could definitely do it on your uh, Facebook page. You could look at doing it on um, Instagram as well, or you could post it on LinkedIn if you wished, depending on who your audience are, depending on whether it will fit that audience. But I mean, even on LinkedIn, you could post a question a day, okay? I don't think that there is a, um, a, a you know, any issue with that. So, so far what we've, what we've uh, looked at is that you could use this as an email sequence. You could use it to start publishing on YouTube. You could use it in your Facebook group. You could use it on your Facebook page. You could use it with a call to action to download a journal or to download um, something like uh, an ebook that you want to launch. You could use it to, to you know, generate more comments and engagement and ask people, if you had a private Facebook group, to ask people to actually go in and if they would like to share the answers. Okay. Um, maybe you could use it as well. Um, for your own personal marketing, uh, market research, you know? So a question that people should often ask is, you know, and then you you um, give the question out and you say, people don't ask themselves this question, but here are the type of answers that my clients have given. And obviously you don't say, um, you know, Alana said or Savita said or uh, so-and-so said, you know, this is uh, this is my my challenge, but you use it like that. And as Ralph says here, you could um, use it as a training video as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what you could do is you could record that video, and then you could have an explanation to the question as well. So don't just think that it has to be the question, and then a set answer. I mean, you could say, you know, I pose this question in my Facebook group or to my audience or to my friends. And these are some of the answers that I came back. Now, why is this important? And you could explain each one of the answers. I mean, there's something there's something that we say in neuro linguistic programming, which is if you want to if you want better answers, ask better questions. So I mean you could branch out into these videos could start leading into a program where you talk about how to ask better questions, how to um, you know, dig deeper because a lot of the times we don't ask good questions. I mean, you guys are asking good questions, but the deeper you ask a question, the better the answer you're going to get. Okay. The better information that you're going to get. So also consider that. Um, okay. And I'm going to ask you a question. Are there any questions there? And I leave it nice and vague and open. The next thing that we want to do here, and we're going to get into a little bit of editing here. And let me just see. We're going to go here, okay? So I just need to uh, move my screens around because I'll make sure I can see your questions. Okay, so I'm in my library here. I can open up this video. And when I open up this video, I do have a few little things here that I can do. Um, I have video preferences, okay? Um, if I wanted, I could have comments. I mean, I could just host this on Loom if I wanted, okay? I could have an animated GIF to start, okay? I could try and reduce the background noise if I have um, a, a lot of noise. And there's no problem with, you know, if you were doing a, a, a five day or 30 day challenge, of just hosting it on Loom. I mean, internally here at PLR.me, we, we like to use Loom to send each other messages or if we have to do some training, um, we use Loom. But the call to action, okay, only available on a business plan. It's $8, I think, a month. Um, the thumbnail is only available on a business plan. But here we have 
the trim video. Now, what this allows you to do is, this allows you to trim the video. So let's say there's a space here. Let me just see if I can zoom this in. Okay, so there's a little bit of space where I've actually, um, I've actually just left a, I mean, when I was starting off. Now I should be able to press delete here or split this, okay? And now I should be able to delete that clip. And then I say, well, actually, I don't like the space here. Let me just go here and I need to go here. And I can say split there and I should be able to delete that clip. Okay, so in here, if I hear, oh my goodness, um, I did a hum here. So I can just go in here and then I can click here and then I can just split there and press delete, okay? Now I can continue on doing that until I have the, the, the video that I want. Okay, here there's definitely something that I have to trim. Okay, I wanna get rid of that empty space because there's always a pause when we actually uh, start and stop a video. So I say split here. Oh, why is it not letting me split? What do I do? Ah, okay, so I just need to, I just need to highlight that. I can split there. And I always just wanna make sure that I'm in the right place and then I press delete. And now I should have just maybe this area here as well to delete. Uh, okay, so I just go here and then I select that. Okay, let me just go here. Okay, and then I should be able to just split that. Okay, it's not uh, split to trim in the middle of the clip. Okay, so it's not letting me just split at the end. Okay, but that's fine. If I make a mistake, I can always undo. And when I am finished, then I can just make sure that uh, I have that saved, okay? Save changes. And that should now give me that shorter video. Okay, questions. Did you know that you could do that simple video editing with Loom? Is that something that you are aware of? I mean, it's not a professional editing suite, but it's certainly pretty good. I mean, there's no excuse because what I have found is that people, and I do it as well, we make excuses. We say, I don't have the video camera. I don't have the headset. I don't have, uh, yes, Kim, there will be a replay. Um, I don't have the lights. I don't have this, I don't have that. You could easily create these um, PowerPoint slideshow videos without any problem, okay? now. What if you said, well, Richard, I want to show more inspiration. Um, I, you know, what else can I do? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna share this screen too. I mean, what you could do here is you could go back to PLR.me and you could look for wallpapers. And you could search wallpapers. And then what you could do here is, let me just put that over there. You could download a number of wallpapers and use those wallpapers as, um, well, as a video, okay? Because what you would do is, let me just see if I can find a selection of wallpapers that I may have. Uh, but I think I actually just removed all the wallpapers the other day. But what you could do is you could have your wallpapers and you could just add them as slides. So to add a slide, um, I can just go to slide, new slide. Okay, I have a new slide there. And then what I can actually just do is I could just put in a picture. Okay, I could search the web and I might call this uh, quotes. I just wanna add a slide in quickly. Okay, and I click on that and that should come in now just in a second. Okay, insert. And the image comes in there. Now, if you wanted to upload that from your computer, 
what you would do is you would go back into image and you would choose upload from computer. So let me just see, uh, let me see if I have one really quickly here that you can see. Okay, keep the questions coming um, because, you know, I want to, I want to see your questions. Now I've actually deleted it on my wallpapers, but you could easily do that. Now, I would always recommend that you use the plr.me wallpapers um, because you don't want to get into a situation where um, you actually decide, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use random images found on the internet um, because you don't have the license for them. I mean, if you went to Unsplash, maybe, but why not use what you already have? Okay, so actually, let's just let's just do this live, okay? Um, let me download a couple of wallpapers. Ah, I'm already logged in, plr.me. Okay, so let me just refresh that. So let me download a couple of wallpapers here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually just insert those live. Okay. So uh, I go here. Uh, I decide to go to item. And I'll go to item here. Okay, so I open these up. And I choose download. And I open up the second one and I choose download. I just open these up. They extract beautifully. Okay. And then what I see here is I see all of these wallpapers. Now, a lot of our wallpapers now will have, um, you know, different image sizes and they will be perfect for Instagram, Pinterest, etc. So what I would do here is I would just let me pull this off screen. I would go here. I would go into my 10 questions and I should be able to just simply click, drag and drop that image there. And there it is. Okay. Now what I could do is I could go in and I could get the other wallpaper and I could decide, okay, on the next slide, I go into insert. Uh, sorry, I go into slide and I go into new slide. And then I choose the other one here. And I'm using um, I'm using one of the big size wallpapers, which is 1920 by 1200. And I have that. Now you could create a unique slide deck if you wanted, just with inspirational quotes. So what would I do with this? Let me just put on my, my recording voice there. Welcome along to this inspirational slide show. You are going to spend the next two minutes with me listening to motivational quotes, but I don't want you to just listen. I want you to internalize and ask yourself, what does that quote mean to me? Our first quote comes from Eleanor Roosevelt. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? Just imagine a time in the near future where you will not fail. What would you do? What would be the first thing that you would do realistically? The first goal that you would accomplish? And what would that look like? What would it sound like? What would it feel like? Really get into that go. And I want you to write that down. Okay. So um, I could go on, um, but I won't. And I'll just come back over here. And I could easily do that. Okay. Um, questions. Okay. Let's have a look. Savita says I was going to upload it to Canva. Okay. Um, you could use your mobile to record. Yes, you could, uh, Margarita. And I've never done anything like that, but I'm excited to do it from now on. Okay. Eloise, I think I have your name correct. Let's do it. Let's let's get you recording something like that. So you can see it's very simple. I mean, you have all the tools. You have PLR.me. You have access to the wallpapers. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we are running a very special sale um, this week. Um, we're doing a number of things. Um, if you've received an email from us, you may, or if you haven't found it or seen it, it will be called Spin and Win is Back. And what you can do is you can actually win some free credits 
for PLR.me. They do have to be used up within a certain amount of time. I'm not going to tell you how long because I want you to click on the email. And you will spin um, our special wheel of fortune, of luck, of credits, and you will receive anything from zero to 10 credits. Now, of course, you're not going to get zero credits, uh, but you will. You can receive anything or win anything from uh, one to 10 credits. And those credits can be used. They do expire. I mean, they, they're they just valid for the next couple of days, those credits. So you go in and you download some items. Um, but we're also running a sale where any members credits that you buy, any pay-to-go credits that you buy, if you are not already a member and you subscribe to a plan, and become a member, you will actually get a special bonus of 50% more credits absolutely free. So while we're checking out if you haven't become a member yet, if you have any questions, you can book a call. I've made some time available um, during the weekend as well. You can book in with me and we can talk about that, okay? Um, KE says, can you use something like this to create a Facebook video ad? I, I don't see why not. I, I mean, unless Facebook say otherwise, I think you could easily do that. Um, Eloise, you pronounced it very well. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I live in Spain, so I looked at it and I said, okay, it's not Heloise. It's not Hello Weiss. <laughs> so I kind of had a, I had a guess and I have a friend, her child is called Eloise and I reckoned it was a silent H. Um, so you have so many choices, okay, that you can use. You can use our repairing credit bundle perhaps. Yes, you can. Okay, so has this opened up your mind to some of the possibilities of what you could actually do? I mean, the possibilities the possibilities are endless. I mean, you can create your own slide deck. You can create your own. Uh, I mean, you can take your um, existing slide decks and just record them. You can decide, well, actually, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do X or I'm going to do Y. I'm going to take these images. I'm going to go out and photograph nature and I'm going to use that as um, something that is going to help me. Okay. So you need to, you need to think about that. You need to think about how can I use this? Because it's not that frightening to get on video without getting on video or to create a video without actually creating, um, a video. Okay. So do think about it. I mean, well, let me ask you an honest question. What's actually stopping you from doing this? Okay, what is actually stopping you from creating a video? Can somebody give me an answer to that? What might be stopping them from actually um, creating one of these PowerPoint audio videos? Now, don't be shy. Do let me know. Okay, I want to hear. Okay, what is stopping you? Okay, Eloise brings up an interesting thought. Fear of failing. Okay, but failing what? I mean, you can record this as many times as you want. You are not limited to recording this just once. I mean, the more you do of it, the better you become. If you were to find some of my early videos, oh my goodness, I mean, they're horrendous, okay? Um, don't be fearful. I mean, as that famous Coca-Cola, I know, oh, we, can't, we can't name trademarks now, but as that famous ad goes for a cola product, what is the worst that can happen, okay? I mean, honestly, what is the worst that can happen? Are you going to suddenly lose authority? Are people suddenly going to say, oh my God, who is this person who has created a video? No, I, I don't think so. Okay, I think what's gonna happen is that you're gonna try 
And remember, there is no such thing as feedback. Uh, sorry, there's no such thing as failure. Um, all there is, is feedback. Okay, so you do your first video. And you, I mean, you do well. Um, what's, what's the next step? Well, I'm going to try another video. I did a one minute video. Now I'm going to try a um, two minute video. Okay. Um, KE says time to create them, but it's a five minute video or less. So all you need to do is get that slide deck, put it up on um, Google Slides and record the first five slides. Two minutes to do it, okay? Um, Ken says failing is a learning opportunity. Okay, absolutely. Um, uh, sorry, Alana says nothing. You make everything seem so easy. Well, that's because it is easy. I mean, we don't have to overcomplicate things. What I have found is people overcomplicate things. People make things more difficult than they should. And they give themselves excuses. I can't do it until I get a new camera, until I change my voice, until I become more handsome, until I become more beautiful, until I get the right makeup, until I get the right lights. I mean, I'll give you 101 excuses. I mean, maybe I need a prompt journal uh, and I'll sell it called 101 excuses that you can use. Okay. Um, I wanted just to to, to show you here that uh, successful children just played spin and win and she won seven pre free credits. Yes. And remember, each credit is worth $2.20. So even if you get five credits, uh, that's really nice. Um, welcome, Kevin. I just logged on. What is the topic? The topic is how to create a video without being on camera. Okay, um, we have Eloise saying, I liked it. All I have is feedback, not failure. That is all we have. Everything is a learning opportunity. If we don't take that first step, how do we know whether we're good or bad at it? If you want, why not record it in your native language? I mean, Eloise, you could record it in Portuguese. I could decide to record it one in Spanish. Somebody else could decide, decide to record it in uh, for example, uh, Ronnie could record it in Canadian. Don't worry, Ronnie, and don't worry, everybody else. I know Canadian is not a language. There's no such thing. Um, Canadian English. Okay. Um, would it be credible enough without actually seeing your face? Well, I'm sensing that this is kind of, this could be a barrier to say, I'm not going to do it because I won't be credible if I don't show my face. I mean, I would prefer if you show your face. And that could be the topic that we're going to talk about next week. But, oops, um, it's a start to just get a video up there. I mean, I've seen lots of videos that just have images on them and somebody talking over them. Um, you could definitely do it without showing your face. I believe it would be credible. People will hear you. What I said, Esther, I don't know if you were here at the top of the call. I said, don't use an, uh, an AI, an artificial intelligence voice, because then you would lose credibility. I mean, if I did videos and you heard an Australian voice and then you get on a call with me, which reminds me, uh, if you have any questions, if you haven't had a call with me before, you can always book a call with me using the link plr.me, book a call. Um, it's only one call per client. So if you have had a call with me, sorry, you're out of luck. Um, you can't have another free call. You can have a paid call, of course, but not a free call. Um, and on that call, I will talk strategy with you. I will walk through all of our different plans. If you're looking to actually get uh, a membership, but you're not quite sure, I'll walk you through everything, explain everything before you actually go in and uh, make the investment. Um, but... You know, credibility, just going back to your question, um, oops, credibility is is built by being authentic. And one of the things is just get your voice out there, okay? I mean, it's kind of the same as a podcast you don't see. Um, okay, Goonies Girl says, I live downtown in an apartment building and the noise is stopping me. I won't be there uh uh, I don't want to be there. Uh, I, I don't want there to be a lot of noise in the background. Okay. So there are things that you can do. If you saw my podcasting uh, questions and answer session, 
I said that you have a studio in your apartment. It's a hidden studio that you might actually know came with your apartment. And where is that studio? That studio is in your wardrobe or your um, uh, where you store your clothes because the clothes act as a very good sound proofing or can act as very good sound proofing. Um, and you could actually use that. I mean, if you're doing a five minute video, if there's a lot of noise, maybe there's a time at 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, um, seven o'clock in the morning where there's not so much noise. I mean, try it, okay? Try doing it. Now, um, there was an option in um, Loom which said uh, reduce background noise. You could also try that, okay? Give it a try. I mean, you don't know how much noise will be picked up. If you have everything closed, you could put some towels or blankets on the window that will dull out a little bit of noise. You could do it in your bathroom. Um, you could do it, as I say, in the wardrobe. Put your laptop in there, put your headphones on and just record it. There is no reason to not give it a try. OK. Um, I need to remind you to like this video, to subscribe to our channel, to share this, to leave a comment if you're on the replay. And next week, what we're going. Well, no, actually, you have homework for for next week. I want you to start to yeah the closet the wardrobe i was uh, i was thinking wardrobe over here i think um in north america you guys may call it a closet um so uh yes um but what i want you guys to do is i want you to try to create a 30 second video a one minute video using one of our slide decks using google slides and using loom that's all you need. I mean, if you have PowerPoint, you can actually record audio and video with PowerPoint. Uh, there's an option there. If you have Keynote, if you're on a Mac, you can also do that. But I don't want to get complex. I want you to be able to do it on any device that you have. Okay. Where there is a will, there is a way. So you can actually do that. You can go download Loom onto your computer. You go to PLR.me, you download a slide deck, you upload it to Google Slides, and you make a recording, okay? Uh, just uh, uh, Chantal says, noise cancelling mic helps. Yes, closet is X, and sometimes just lightly say, you live in the city, please pardon any noise. Yeah, I mean, yes, you can buy noise cancelling uh, microphones. There's noise cancelling software that I use as well that can that can help. Um, and you're right, Chantal, you know, welcome along to this meditative audio. Now, I want you to take every sound that you hear from my voice, from the sound of the city, and allow that to become one during this video. So you could start with something like that, okay? Um, until you record, you won't know how loud or not loud it sounds. Obviously, if there are people with the television on and shouting next in the apartment, then they're going to hear it. But maybe it won't pick up in the actual uh, in the actual recording. Um, Chantal says she's definitely going to listen to the video again. Um, Savita says some people record in their vehicles. If that helps, yeah, you could do that. You could take the laptop out to your car and just record there. Um, hey, Diane. Or Diane, great to see you. Thank you, Richard. Lots of creative juices flowing. Have a great week. You too. Uh, you too. Um, what noise cancelling software do I use? Okay, so I use one. And let me just uh, get you a link here for it. Um, it's actually called Crisp. Okay. And um, I believe, I don't know whether with my link, I can actually give you a... Uh, a free a free version of it let me just check here uh, okay so let me just check this okay uh, and if I can I will just put it into the screen there so let me just have a look yeah I actually have a a link here that I can use okay so let me just copy that now I got this I got this on a special. 
Um, but I think you just check. Get crisp for free. Yeah, I think you can actually download um, this for free. And I find it pretty good, I have to say. I mean, I'm not doing it now because there's no noise in the office at the moment, but I actually do use this um, and I find that it's uh, uh, it's it's really useful. So again, I'll just put it as a caption here as well so that you can see um, it's this. And, and that's just my, uh, there it is. That's just my link there um, that uh, I think uh, you, I, don't, I don't even think you have to purchase it. I think there is a free version um of it okay so we're coming up to the uh, we've just passed the 60 minute mark as always i want to thank you for spending time with me today um next week next week well next week i have a i have a, an announcement to make so i do hope that you will be here for the announcement and i want to show you how we can use um what we've already learned to get ourselves on video as well, okay? Don't be frightened, it's gonna be really good. Make sure that you um, come prepared with questions next week and we will talk about um, how you are going to create your first video with you live. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure as always talking to you and uh, I look forward to speaking to you next week. Make sure that you uh, do sign up for all of our trainings. And you can do that. Let me just put the link in here. Um, it's just Luma your training. So let me just put the link in here. Uh, Luma PLR training. If you haven't already signed up, you can actually sign up there and uh, you can get notified of all of our trainings. So, as I said, absolute pleasure as always, guys. I'll talk to you next week. Have a wonderful and